we start anything, I wanted to give you guys just a little heads up on the sounds you're going to hear. So, we have electric bass. Electric bass. And Alex is going to show us what the electric bass sounds like. So that's the same as having a bass right up in front of you and playing on your bass, but instead he's looking at a keyboard and he's playing like piano. And we've changed the sound that comes out. Instead of it sounding like a piano, it sounds like an electric bass. Now, we have Emma, who's going to give us an idea of what she can do. Excellent. She's just playing a keyboard just like everybody else, but we've changed it to sound like a flute. Margo is going to show us guitar. Yeah, give me some chords. Alright, great. So, the guitar on, we're all using a program called GarageBand, by the way. It comes, it's an Apple product. It comes with the iPads that they have. Um, and so right now we have a band starting to take shape. We have bass and guitar and flute. Um, we have a guitar that can play chords, but we can also have a, our keyboard set as a guitar sound. Who's got that? Uh, Maurice, let me hear the, the single notes on the top. Excellent. So right now we've got an electric guitar sound coming from a keyboard. After that, we can just do regular old piano. Who's giving me piano? Gustavo is giving me piano sounds. All right, so that's just regular piano. We're all, we're all familiar with that. But what some people don't know is we can actually do entire sections with one keyboard. So Lear, let me get some strings. So what we've got there is an entire violin and viola string section, which is really cool. Okay, let me get to you first. All right. I was about to say we can also do drums. Great, thank you. So we can do just a regular drum set where we've got a bass drum, a snare drum, and we can do that kind of stuff. And we can get a little bit more fancy. We can do cymbals. We can do cymbals. We can get even more than just. Come on, get a little. All right, we can do cymbals. We can also do even uh, like more exotic sounding things. All right, give me a couple of some of the other sounds we got on there too. Okay, cool. So we've got all sorts of different uh, percussion sounds that we can emulate through the, the app that we're using. So. In order to get those all to work together, we have different people on different settings. So, uh, old timey fairies, please. Get set for old timey fairies. Now, we're gonna play two songs for you today. One song is what we call medley, where it's a bunch of little songs all smushed together to make one big song. And then we're gonna play just one real short, quick song for you. On both songs that we're playing, everybody in the group is playing something different. Right, so if we have, like right now we're about to play uh, what, what we're calling Old Timey Favorites. It's a song that I put together of a bunch of like nursery rhymes. Here we go. One, two, oh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What's up in there? Come on. I'm giving you a tempo, and you're not going with me, so we're going to do it again, and you hit with me. Here we go. One, two, three, four.
written by a guy named Beethoven. He's on the wall over here. If you're looking at the wall, right underneath the American flag, if you go to the right, it's got a green background. That's Beethoven. So we're going to go on. The next song in that medley is what? Lightly Row. Let me hear Lightly Row, everybody. One, two, three, four. Guitars, two, 